everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to a vintage vanity. I'm super excited for today's video because well, you guys are here. As well as I thought it would be really, really fun to show you how I incorporate my vintage rockabilly style into my work wardrobe. Now I've got a lot of questions over the years on how I dress when I go to work and quite frankly I've been really, really lucky that the companies that I've worked for, they have been a-okay with me having pink and now blue hair and they've been completely fine with the way that I dress. So I thought it would be fun to take you with me through my week so let's get started shall we? Today is Monday and it might seem strange to start things off wearing a t-shirt but we're going to be doing some DIY at work today so I want to make sure I am super comfortable. I am wearing this uh, very very cute Expecto Patronum shirt uh, to protect me because you never know when uh, you're going to have a Dementor come at you. And I've paired it with this wide black belt and one of my favorite black full circle skirts with a purple crinoline. And to some people's dismay, they hate when I do this, but I don't care. I am pairing it with a pair of chucks, 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 chucks. Okay, that's all the energy I have for Monday. So my intention was actually to record the outfits before I left for work every morning, but here's the thing. I really like sleep. So some mornings I tend to sleep in a little bit longer. So this morning I had absolutely no time to film before I left for work. So why don't I just show you guys what I am wearing today. Seeing as how it is literally uh, a hot as Satan falls today and we still had some DIY filming to do I wanted to wear something that was cool so I wore this, this black vixen top which left me plenty of room to get some air and then this really cute pleated um sewing cartoon strip skirt which I absolutely love um I did make it and it's got these cute little glass vintage buttons there and it's just so, so cute. And because it's pleated, I don't really have to wear a crinoline underneath it. And then of course my uh, gorgeous uh, Bianca look shoes. Apparently I cannot wake up on time to save my life this week, which is why uh, this outfit is being filmed at the end of the day. So if I seem a little odd, tired, or a slightly bedraggled, that would just be why. Today was another filming day at work and I chose to wear this dress, which I did make uh, using a Gertie pattern from Butterick, I believe. And I love this print so much. It's a Route 66 print by Michael Miller. And it's super cute. So I decided to accent in red with my hair flower and my belt. The belt actually was uh, from Kohl's of all places. Can you believe it? Now the plan was that I was also going to wear this cute cropped green cardigan that you guys may or may not know that I got on Amazon. And uh, the problem was that it was really hot today. Again, I don't know what is going on, but it was really, really humid. And especially being under the studio lights, I ended up not wearing my cardigan at all. So for most of the day, I looked like this. I Wait. think you know what time it is. <laughs> Which, had I known I was going to do that, I would have chose to wear a strapless bra. So, fortunately, the only upside I can say is that there is some blue in the dress. So, maybe, me. Okay, I'm stretching that. But still, okay. <laughs> the other thing is I chose to wear my um, little red shoes from a bait footwear. They're these great little wedges and I find Bates wedges, the lower wedges, to be pretty comfortable out of all their shoes and I love a good wedge. So that is what I wore today at work on You guys are seriously going to start thinking I can never get up in the morning. <laughs> this has just been a really crazy week. 
Um, but yes, this morning was another, I slept in a little bit longer than I should have mornings, and it was terribly rainy, and thunderstorms, and the sky splitting open, so of course I decided to wear something that was very colorful, and uh, just combated the gray skies a little, and this is a Tatiana dress that I have had oh good lord for a long long time and I bought it from a swap and sell site on Facebook and I've got my crinoline under there as well as my super gorgeous Miss Elfire flats I don't even know if you guys can see that <laughs> and my hair looked fabulous this morning but the humidity and the rain has changed it to loose as well as um we did not put any makeup on, but this is the reality of how I dress for work. I'm not going to social media pretty it up for you. This is real life, people. <laughs> what better way to celebrate Friday, the end of the work week for me, than wearing one of my favorite skirts. This is the Gargle Blaster from my Atomic Starlet clothing line, and I love the print on this so much. You've got animals just tipping back their drinks all ready for weekend shenanigans and these great big pockets on the outside i just absolutely love this skirt so much paired it with a black belt that um i believe was gotten at kohl's as well and then this top was gotten from gotten from <laughs> apparently my brain doesn't work at the end of the week this top i got from a, a facebook swap and sell group and I am loving the way I am looking today. Can I say that? I can say that. We can say that, right? Absolutely. And then I've got these great little wedge shoes on, and they've got the twine kind of around the heels, which I love. It's so summery to me, right? And, um, yeah, so that's what I wore this week. So that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed getting a look at how I incorporate my style into my work wardrobe, even though I probably picked the worst week of summer to do it because we ended up having an excessive heat wave. So that was fun. But you guys got a real, real look into my reality of Monday through Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of today's video. Let me also know how you incorporate your style into your work wardrobe. Now, before I let you go, I want to give a huge subscriber shout out to Rainbow Sprinkles. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos and overall being a part of our cozy online community here. Now, if you guys are going to miss me between uploads, be sure to follow me on all the social media as a Vintage Vanity. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything new and you can do that by clicking on my face if you want to show up my clothing line go ahead and click on that boomerang and if you just want to keep watching more videos go ahead and click a video you see playing i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you soon bye